Hi and welcome to this feature cam getting started video. My name's Spencer and in this video I'm going to be taking you through the basics of turning with feature cam. Everything from the setup of a document all the way through to the generation of NC code. Let's start by importing a solid model. A wizard will guide me through the process of initializing my setup. I'm asked to define the directions of my setup axes and the center point of my round stock. The dimensions of my stock can either be entered manually or computed from the size of the solid model. The location of the setup will be at the end of my stock material and at this point I'm ready to start programming. A turning import wizard provides the opportunity to create a revolved curve boundary. This will provide the geometry I need to be able to create my features. By hiding the solid model, I can easily see my geometry. I can then clip, edit, and extend the geometry if necessary. Curves can now be created from our geometry. This is achieved by chaining various pieces together to form single curves. I've used this method to create the remainder of my required curves. Features can be created by either entering dimensions or by using curves. The first feature I will create is a face feature. This will remove the excess stock from the front of my part. The dimensions and locations of the face feature determine the amount of material to be removed and the strategy options dictate how the material is removed. The required tools are automatically chosen based on the strategies, operations and dimensions that we've already specified. The Feature Properties dialog is then displayed, providing details of the feature and operations you've just created. The second feature I'm going to create is a turn feature. A curve is used to define its profile, strategies are specified to control the methods used to remove the material, and the tools are automatically selected from the Active Tool crib. I've used the same principles to create the remainder of the required features to fully program this part. At this stage, I can specify the relevant post processor file by selecting the post name in the status bar. A variety of turning posts are supplied with the software. Various simulation modes allow me to visualize my programming. A 3D simulation not only allows me to view the features and operations I've created, but it also verifies my programming for possible collisions between the tool assembly and the stock material. I can display my NC code in the results window and save my code along with other manufacturing information ready for transfer to my machine. In this example, you saw how to program a turning part using dimensions and curves to define machinable features. For more information on how to use Autodesk FeatureCam, keep watching the videos in this series or visit the Autodesk Knowledge Network for more useful video content. 